Hagar, yeah, Hagar. There you go. Thank, thank you, Pastor Nate. Uh, what, what must I do to be saved? I mean, you gotta ask Jesus that. <laughs> For real. What's that? What's the adage? He so whoever believed in him. He so whoever believed. I forgot what what verse that is. Uh, John John three fifteen. Romans ten nineteen. Let's see. Ten nine. I'm sorry. There you go. Believe in your heart that he died and was raised from the dead, and you shall be saved. We declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I was past Nate with, with the with the with the bars with the bars of knowledge right there. Clap it up for him. Throw a little something in his in his collection plate for you. Uh, all right, we're gonna start with thirty six. All right. Uh, okay, he kind of struggled a little bit. I thought with that question. I was just curious. He said, declare uh, the Lord. Let's see, so what's he reading here? Uh, I'm not sure what he could be reading here. So he got the uh, NIV right there. Okay, that's probably what he quoted. The, the poor fella. He don't even know. Uh, but, um, you know, somebody was there to help him out, right? I mean, Romans 10, 9, uh, that's a verse that I love, right? Uh, but, okay, so here's the thing. Um, so this gentleman here says, believe in your heart that he died. Okay, so who's he? Would You know, this guy here at least said his name Jesus, right? This guy never says his name Jesus. It's kind of interesting, huh? But, you know, I don't know what version this guy was using either. It's not coming up. He just kind of, I think he wrote it off memory, possibly. Uh, believe in your heart that he died and was raised from the dead. I don't see any Bible version. Here I got what 50 of them I think or so but anyways wanted to share that with you uh, you got to be ready to you know isn't there a Bible verse that says something about uh, be ready always to give an answer for the reason there it is sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Okay, just wanted to share that. Just one of the examples of um, probably not such a great answer, in my opinion. I think he could have done better next time. <laughs>